Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about TypeScript with React, where we are going to use props. So uh, as you can see right here on the right side, I have a empty um, app.tsx file uh, right here. The app is running, but of course um, there's nothing uh, to see right now. Um, and let's start by um, making a header for this in this uh, component and I will call it header for now. Now when I save it, of course, we will see the header right here. Now let's imagine that we want to pass the um, text of the header as a prop, right? So in when we would write this in JavaScript, we would simply say, uh, for example, header text. And this is then something being passed as a property, which we can use here. And then at the place where the app component is rendered, we can then um, use the header text and we can say, for example, this is a header. Now you will see when I save this, we will get an error because right here it says binding element header text impl implicitly has an any type. And the error is right here on line one. And if I hover over header text, you will see that header text indeed has a type of any. Now, this is pretty much the whole point of TypeScript, right? To make sure that we explicitly tell um, what types certain things are, including props. So in order to do this, I can go right here and I will say interface and I will call this app props. And that is an object and I will give that object a property of header text and I will tell or I will say that it is a string. And now I can go right here and say that the props are the app props. And now you will see when I hover over header text, it will indeed see that the header text should be a string. And now when I save this and refresh the app, there we have our header text we pass as a prop in our index.ts file. So you might be wondering what this interface actually is. And an interface is simply used to define an entity in our application, for example, the app props. And in uh, the next video, you will also see that we are going to use the interface to define an entity. Now, the next thing I'd like to show you um, are optional props. So imagine we have another uh, piece of text right here. Um, we will call it, uh, I don't know, uh, extra text. And we can say that, let's say this extra text is an optional property, right? So in this case, we want to conditionally render extra text. And of course we get it passed as a um, property. And then we have to define it here as well. And this will also be a string. So now when I save this, you will see we got another error in our index file. And you will see that it says that extra text is missing in the in type header text, uh, but required in app props. Now, um, the reason for that is that uh, by saying that the props should equal to the app props, what we did right here, it's expecting that the extra extra text prop is being passed as well. But in this case, we want to say it's optional. So in order to prevent that error, we can add a question mark right here. And now when I save it, I refresh the app. Um, let's take a look. Let's save it right here. I think something went wrong. Yeah, it had some, some still data in there. So, but now you'll see we do not get an error anymore. And uh, you can also see when I hover over it, it will say that extra tax is either a string or undefined. So that's all you need to know about optional props. Now, the last thing I'd like to show you 
uh, our default props. So let's say um, in case we uh, uh, no extra tax is passed, we want to give it a default value anyway, then we can simply do that by um, doing something like this. We could say default text and we'll see when I save it, it will show the default text. But now if I pass the extra text as a property right here, it's actually a string, of course. Um, and I will say some extra text. You will see that whenever we pass it, it will use that new um, data right here. And the nice thing about TypeScript, because I almost made the mistake of um, passing, well, let's say a number right here. And you'll see when we would execute this code, we get an error where it says type number is not assignable to type string or undefined. So this is why TypeScript is so great because it helps you prevent from making these errors, right? If we would have done this in, um, let's say, well, JavaScript, then, you know, probably our code would have run, but maybe the developer really expected us right here to put a string. So TypeScript uh, prevents that. So that was it pretty much for um, TypeScript props. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.